everyone, I'm here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at Boku no Hero second season episode 6. So, I was pretty, pretty impressed by this week's episode and it had very little action or very little of anything besides some comedy and some backstory, but it was really well done. Um, one thing I was happy about is that whole, like they started off by saying they were going to do recreational games after like Todoroki's uh, passing, which I'll talk about in a second, but I was like, oh god, don't tell me you're spending an episode on like recreational games or are just comedy, but no, they actually just did it with a, like a short, like minute burst, and it was just meant to be kind of like something that led into the tournament to kind of get you pumped up for it. So, you know, I should be at this point already realizing that, you know, what's funny about Boku no Hero is that it doesn't do anything that's always typical with the shonen genre. It it has that shonen genre element, but it really tries to go against the molding of it a lot of times, and I'm happy to say that works very well for it. Oh, and by the way, uh, I forgot to mention it, but I do apologize this is coming out like at 8.40 in the morning, probably actually for you guys, probably 9 o'clock. Um, you know, I, I felt really sick yesterday. I still feel very sick, which is why you probably hear it in my voice. But, you know, I couldn't stay awake until like 5 o'clock in the morning to review this, unfortunately. But, get the review out now, anyways. But, um, anyways, what was pretty cool, though, is we learned a lot about Todoroki. And that really sucked that he was like a... a basically bred into a perfect hero or supposed to be bred into a perfect hero where apparently you can cork mate as they said and you can find a super partner that's compare uh, compatible with your quirk and then the son or daughter will have the offspring you know both, both the parents power i guess infused into him and that's why Tony Rupi has both i guess fire and ice because you know obviously his father endeavor has fire and then his mother probably has an ice power of some sort but that's messed up. That's like being bred to be, become a warrior that you don't want to be, per se. Um, he does want to beat uh, Deku, but at the same time, you know, he's like, he wants to do it with his own skill. Not because his father was like, oh yeah, I want to breed you into the perfect warrior and make you, you know, rise above. Because we apparently learned that Endeavor is a second to all might, like, in, in comparison to heroes. So, I wonder if they're going to have a fight with Endeavor, like, if they're going to actually have Endeavor fight at one point. Alongside, alongside All Might. That'd be kind of cool to watch. Uh, other than that, though, there was a lot of comedy in this, ep this episode, which I really enjoyed. I love the fact where the girls were tricked into wearing a cheerleader outfit. That was so funny. Um, you know, like, why would you listen to the guy with the little purple things on his head? He's clearly a pervert. So why have you ever listened to him or ever thought it was a good idea to listen to him? That's baffling to me. Um, also, I'm very, I'm very curious about that one guy's power because apparently that's how the whole episode ends. Uh, Deku's first up, and this guy has an ability, apparently, if you talk, all of a sudden, your whole body, like, it's shut down or something like that, and you forget all your memories or something like that. That's pretty creepy. I'm wondering what his power is, um, but I'm hopefully, they'll, they'll probably explain it next week's episode, but I wonder if Deku's gonna be out, like, immediately, or if Deku's really gonna rise up. I mean, I know, I know people will say, oh, obviously he's gonna rise up, but you know, you never know. Sometimes Shonen stuff... It doesn't always have the main character rising just to win. You know, he might be the greatest hero, or as Deku always says, he's going to become the greatest hero, but doesn't mean he's going to win everything in sight either, leading to that point. Anyways, guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this review. I will be reviewing Attack on Titan later. Uh, be sure to check out my outro card. That's where I'm going to be having from now on all the patrons that donate to my channel. If you want to be on that little outro card thing, which is not really impressive per se, but, I mean, the outro card itself is impressive. That was done by my friend Travis. But I'm saying, like, the actual, like, where I put the, the text box for the patrons isn't that impressive. But, you know, if you want to be d uh, on that list, you know, just donate a dollar to the channel. If you don't want to donate anything, it's not, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't worry about it. I will talk to you guys later. As always, bye-bye, everyone.